الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله continuing on in our mountain minhajia series talking about some issues in مسائل المنهج uh, methodology the methodology of أهل السنة والجماعة اتقار أهل السنة that <coughs> one of the things uh, and I think we'll make this the last one of the series is that <coughs> the importance of having a positive attitude and realizing the help and support is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regardless of who differs, no matter how many mubtadiya, or how many people are ignorant, or how many people uh, don't understand the madhab of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah and refute it, and actually you know, make mistakes regarded and follow their desires, and every other kind of issue and excuse. And, and this goes back to the hadith uh, Taifat al-Mansura, which is also known as the hadith talking about the safe sex and what this means, before we even get into it, let's understand something. And when we talk about the saved sect, we're not saying that we are saved. We are not saying like the Christians say in Mictiskia, you know, say, say that they are blessed and they are the ones who are saved and they're the ones, this and that and the other. But what you're talking about, you're talking about the menhaj, you're talking about the methodology, that it's a blessed, saved, uh, the menhaj of the saved sect. That that's what you're trying to adhere to. Uh, but however, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are particularly on that. You may, you know, have mistakes. We all make mistakes. As the Prophet ﷺ said, We all, uh, all the children of Adam, they commit sin. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So we all make mistakes. We have, we make mistakes. Maybe minhajiyya, maybe ittiqadiyya, maybe, uh, you know, some issues in creed we make mistakes on. So the main thing is to be humble and come back uh, when advised when those mistakes are mentioned. So what what I wanted to talk about Habitavila more specifically is the fact that Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah that they uh, go back to this very important hadith uh, which is the hadith of you know Shaykh al-Salam referred to it as a uh, you know hadith of Taif al Mansura and, and so forth and, and many Ahl hadith they talked about this and this is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu the hadith you, you find it in Muslim and I think it perhaps, perhaps in Bukhari. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said <coughs> in one of the narrations, he said, Okay, Sallallahu He said, there won't cease to be a group from my nation that's on the truth uh, until the hour is established. And... <coughs> In uh, this hadith, uh, as, as well as another narration, which is very important for us to contemplate and reflect on and to implement and to have ittiqad be, you know, to, to, to believe in it. And this is uh, the version or the narration which the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, La tazaw ta'ifatum min ummati zahinin ala haq, la yudurruhum man khalifuhum wala man khadaluhum hatta tukum sa'ah. Uh, the Prophet والسلام, said, There won't cease to be a group upon, uh, of my ummah that is on the truth. Uh, no one will harm them, even if they differ with them, or even if they go against them, or try to deceive them, until the hour is established. That's very important for us to, to know, because as you know, that when you uh, try to traverse the madhab of the Salaf, the Salafi Minhaj, there's many people who are against you. Many people uh, will flee from the Dawah, Many people uh, get the wrong impression about the Dawah. Many people misunderstand the Dawah and they make, uh, they, they declare it to be a Dawah Mutidiyah themselves, which shows their own innovation or their own Jahil. And, <clears throat> you know, uh, many people, they go against the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah and they, you know, so on and so forth. But that goes back to the crux of the argument here and it goes back to the crux of the Hadith. In which Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لا تزل طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين الحق There won't cease to be a group of my nation that is on the truth. Okay? So I think we need to agree upon that. Is it the Matridiyah? Is it the Asha'ira? Is it uh, the, the, the um, Naqshbandiyah? Is it some Sufi Turk? Tijaniyah? Tijaniyah? Uh, you know, and all the other various Sufi Turk? No, it's not. Uh, instead, it is uh, Ahl Hadith, as uh, many of the scholars of Hadith mention. And Ahl Hadith means Ahl Athar. Ahl Athar means Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ahl uh, Sunnati wal Jama'ah means the, the Salaf Salih. Salaf Salih means the Salafiyun in contemporary times. All of these are various mustalhat uh, of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. 
uh, Taifa to Mansura, all these other names that Ahl Sunnah gave themselves to distinguish from the other people of Bid'ah, but they didn't just come out of these with desires. And that's the thing. That's why, you know, you have to fix the deen. Some of the people, they say it's a Bid'ah and it's this and it's that. These classifications. These classifications, they go Muslimid al It's very different than the Naqshbandis, you know, and, and the Diobandis. They go to a place. They, their name goes back to a place, the Hururiya, which is a Khwarij. Uh, they, which is a group of the Khwarij, they go back to Hurura, which is a pla- place, uh, I think, in, in Basra, I believe, in Iraq. So you'll find that many of the groups of Bid'ah, they go back to a particular individual. You know, that's why the people, the Asha'i, they call them Asharis. They call themselves Asharis. They don't budge on that name. Why don't they call themselves uh, Umrah bin Khatabis? Because Umrah has much more fadl than Abu Hassan al-Ashari. Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wa Or ta'ala ala Umar. So we see a, a big difference. Whereas Ahl Sunnah, they don't go to individuals. We don't call ourselves bin Bazis or Wahhabis or whatever. Because these are just scholars who are on that path. And we love them. For their adherence to the path, but we don't worship them, we don't follow them, you know, uh, and make uh, you know blind follow of them and this and that, and say they don't make mistakes. But we are concerned about that path, that menhaj. And so, going back to the hadith, let us five to min umiti There won't cease to be a group of my nation that's on the truth. And what did the Prophet ﷺ say? He said, "La yaduruhum men khalifuhum." So he wasallam said, "There won't, no one will harm them." So we can rest assured, no one's going to harm you if you adhere to that menhaj. And that, that's the thing, we got to adhere to that menhaj. we got to keep vigilant on it. we got to keep pumping it out. we got to get, there's, there can be no, no uh, compromise and sacrifice. Because we're talking about the salvation of our souls. You know, if it was something worldly, if it was Black Lives Matter or something, say if I was uh, a, a hardcore nationalist or something, well, you know, I would have to realize that those are man-made groups and groups that are, uh, you know, secular in their orientation and have secular goals. But we're talking about the goals of salvation of our soul. Because, and that, that's why the, the scholars also called the Ahl Sunnah the saved sect. Because of this, uh, well, from another hadith. So uh, the, the Prophet ﷺ said, La yudurhum. No one will harm them. Men khalifahum. Whoever differs with them. Because everybody's differing with them. Ahl Sunnah. Well, I meant or those who try to deceive them or, or what have you. And I was listen, it was very interesting. The other day I was reading a, an explanation of part of this hadith uh, from a contemporary scholar, Sheikh um, Khalid, um, Khalid, uh, he's Misri, he's Egyptian, forget his, his other name, Bufairi. And he mentioned about uh, what, what I thought was very nice and, and interesting point. And he mentioned about uh, the part where the Prophet ﷺ says, Those who khadal. And he said, you know, those who try to deceive. So he was mentioning that this refers to uh, the, the people who are on, who could be from their brothers from Ahl Sunnah, but they try to deceive them. So I thought that was very interesting. I'd never given that... Uh, you know, never had that understanding and never really looked into that that mas'ala. And that was a fayda, I thought. Because he said, Men khadrahum, those are the people from Ahl Sunnah. Khalifahum, those are the people from Ahl Bidah. That's clear. You know, we, we're, cl- we're clear. We know that those people are going to try to refute us or those people are going to try to belittle our menhaj. They're going to try to, you know, cause you doubt in the Quran or doubt in the Sunnah. You know, we already know that. But those who khadrahum, those are going to be people from Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah as well, but yet they try to, they actually deceive uh, Ahl Sunnah. You know, they, they, they are deceptive in their, in their practice and in their, in their understanding. So this is a very dangerous uh, thing. So that was a fight that he mentioned. So, uh, and then the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, until the hour is established. So Ahl Sunnah rests assured based on this hadith and others, that, you know, Ahl Sunnah is going to be Moju. They're going to be present. They could be, some of them could be in Japan, some of them in parts of China, some of them are in, uh, you know, many in Pakistan and many in India and many in Somalia and many right here in Seattle and, and uh, you know, wherever. Uh, New Mexico. Got a shout out for Roy. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and, and around the world. So, you know, it's not particular to a particular locality. We don't say it's, it's Saudi, it's Mauritania. It's, nah, we don't say that. We say rather... The Ahl Sunnah Mujud. 
And, and, and that goes back to the Prophet ﷺ said, Until the hour is established. So Ahl Sunnah is going to be present all over. They're going to be in Adan. They're going to be in Sana'a. They're going to be in uh, Damaj. They're going to be in Ma'rib or Ma'bar. Or, you know, all kind of places in Yemen and all around the world. Moju, Sweden, France, Germany, Italy, Spain. Ahl Sunnah Moju. And so, and they're united based on the Aqidah. The creed and the menhaj of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. That's what unites them. But unfortunately, as uh, the Sheikh mentioned that faida, some will try to khadal, some will, will deceive, some will be deceptive, some will try to attack the honors of others, and you know, things like this. And that could be their hawa. Sometimes it's hawa, sometimes it's, you know, it's just their desires and it's their arrogance, and it may not be something necessarily menhajia. But those, those are uh, other things to think about. So I also want to end very quickly, as best as I can, to make it short, and we went way longer than I wanted, as usual, uh, I wanted to end, no, never mind, what we're going to do is we're going to have one more sitting.